In this video, we're going to help you troubleshoot the error 900 on your Samsung Smart TV. Usually that's an issue with a VPN. So if you do, if you have a VPN installed on your Samsung TV, momentarily um, disable it or uninstall it and see if that fixes your issue and then we'll go from there. Most likely it's an internet issue, an internet connection issue. So we're going to go ahead and check on that right now. So what I want you to do is get your remote, go to home, which we're at right now, and then what you're going to do is go to settings. On this particular model, uh, what you're going to do is scroll to your left and go to that little gear shift thing that says settings. Click OK. And then from right here, what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to general and you're going to go to network. Click OK. And then click network status. Now, if it's blue here, then you know that you're getting connected to the internet, so you're good. If there's a red X, then that's the issue. You're not getting connection with the internet. It's an issue with your router. So what I want you to do to troubleshoot your router is try another device on your internet, whether that be another TV, Xbox, um, a laptop. And if you're not able to get connected, then you know it's not your TV, it's your router. So what I want you to do is unplug the router for 10 minutes, plug it back in and then tell me if you're still getting that error. Okay, if you are still getting that error, let's go ahead and back up again. And you'd want to contact your service provider if if it is if it's not your TV, contact your service your internet service provider and say, "Hey, is there an outage everywhere else?" So what you're going to do here is go back to network. And what we want to do is reset the network restore the network settings to the factory default. Now what that's doing, it's removing your password and you're going to have to find your network again, your Wi-Fi network, and then plug it back in and you have to re-enter your password. So make sure you have your password uh, memorized. That way, um, that way you can go back in there. Okay, try that and tell me if that works. Now if you've done that, what I want you to do is back all the way out. I want you to go to support down here. And then when you go to support, I want you to do a software update. And I understand you might not be able to do that if you're not connected to the internet, but if you are interconnect, inter connected to the internet, do a software update. Okay, now after you've tried that, uh, the last solution would be to reset your network in general, uh, your, whole, your whole Samsung TV. You will lose your uh, apps and everything, but that would be the final solution. So go to general and go all the way down and general click reset all the settings will return to factory defaults and do that at the very last thing and then after that that should fix your problem um, if not if you're using Wi-Fi try to connect your router to your TV without using Wi-Fi try to use it through the Ethernet directly to the TV if you do it directly to the TV then you know it's not your TV if it's the TV's working it's actually the Wi-Fi router, not the general router, and then you just have to replace that Wi-Fi router, um, and then that, and then, then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe.